All right, so we're talking plumbing line today. That's what we're talking. Now, if you hang your sheets on your walls before you put them up, then you should have pulled square on your walls. And that means when you stand your walls, they should already be plumb. Plumb meaning level in the vertical direction, right? See how we're even split in the bubble. That's what I mean by level. I don't mean level. Oh, it's in the bubble. It's good. No, I'm talking level. Even split in the bubble, right? So once that happens and you know that all your corners are plumb, you can put a nail right here and a nail over there. Run a string. And this is why we call it plumb and line. Now we're going to run a string across and that's going to be our guideline to pull any wave of the wall out. And as we do that, like for example, this wall right here, if it's out of plumb this way a little bit, when we do our string line, we're gonna pull that in and that's gonna make this wall plumb and that wall straight. That's why it's called plumb and line. And that's why we build everything to dimension. So if you end up a little bit short, for example, there's it's a tiny bit short right here. So we have to make it a tiny bit short up there, right? That keeps it same, same all the way. So as you're pulling these walls in and out, it's cranking the rest of the interior walls into place, right? Where there's the end of a wall kind of flopping, like right here, this wall was kind of flopping a little bit. So what we did was run what we call a dimensional brace. We measure outside of plate to outside of plate, right? And then, we cut that number out of a two by four and we run it flush to outside, flush to outside. That's another reason why it's nice when our uh, framing stacks, right? So I know I got a stud across, stud across, and I could put a stick dimensional brace across that, slam it tight to my studs, and I know that it's well within reason of being straight and square for what we're doing, right? So now that wall already has a brace on it, level. This is dimensional to that, so this would have to be level. Not too much wobble, right? Same thing over here. Now, on a single-story Rambler, you can kind of get away with stuff if you wanted to and kind of plumb your walls later if you really needed to if you were crunched for time. When you're doing a second-story building, your stuff needs to be plumb in line no matter what before you put your second-story floor on or life is gonna be miserable. So there's my brief explanation on what we mean by plumb and line.